Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dimitri channel. This is the part 3 of ArcOS review series. In the previous two episodes we discussed installing ArcOS and also working with the applications. Just installing those and using the ones that already shipped with the operating system. Today we're going to talk more about installing applications actually. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is how to install apps to your ArcOS installation. And that's actually quite easy. For example, if we open the command prompt and the package manager that is used here here is called yum. For example, if we type yum install tab, let's say, let's see what it, what it says. As you can see, there is no such package available, that's why it says nothing to do. But yeah, you can basically use this one and just update the packages. We type yum update and I just actually update the packages on your system. Typically, you need to do this before, before you install your applications. Like, for example, you need some kind of dependencies before you install applications and then you just copy the file. So typically, yum is a great package manager to be able to install those packages. So as you can see, there's nothing to do. Okay, and what version of yum we are running? Basically, this one is 3.4.3, which is like quite old, but I guess this is fine for ArcOS. The whole system is not that new. Mm -hmm. Guys, yum is actually the way to install apps on your system. And typically, yes, you need to use it for installing specific dependencies. For example, I don't know, Python or something. You can install those using the yum command. Really modern way of installing applications here. How about some common packages? Well, for example, that, that's gonna be this one, wget. And as you can see, it's already installed, it has the latest version. So basically, that's how we install the apps. Let's talk about other methods. For example, I have this file manager installed right here. We're gonna launch this one. So fm2, how about we launch this one? And this is my installation folder. This is my actually downloads folder from the Firefox guys. It's just some stuff I downloaded and how about we talk about those. The main and preferred method of installing applications is using the work in package manager and it's actually installation manager. So you just launch this one and this is basically the way of installing apps right here. It actually copies all the files. It do, does all the job for you. You don't need to do anything manually. Yeah and it's kind of great but unfortunately not all packages are like this. Sometimes you need to actually manually copy files which is not that good but that's that's how it is. Also, I wanted to show you this one, MP3 player. So this is the MP3 player I found for OS2. I'm not, it's not ideal one, but if you like this one, basically this is how it works. You just navigate it like this. Okay, let's go to home, uh, downloads, and then for example, this MP3 file. Well, unfortunately it doesn't work because there is no audio device installed for this. That's why it doesn't work, but this is just give you some idea of what kind of MP3 players you can use for the OS2. I mean, this is not the great one, but this one is a good one, we'll see. And and everybody knows what VLC is, right guys? So basically you can, you can play your video files and you can also play your audio files. And what version actually is this one? This one is 3.0, perfectly usable uh, and you can still play all your video files and audio files, which is great. Nemo, I think it's just like a file browser or something. Captain Nemo is just a file browser for your system. And you can see guys, you can also explore it like this. Typical like DOS navigator kind of stuff. I don't know, DOS navigator, file manager or like any any, any kind of file manager you can find. You can read files like this. I mean, nothing special, but at the same time, just gives you perspective. So guys, we talked about preferred ways of installing the packages and applications to your system, but sometimes it's not available. Sometimes you actually need to do it all manually. For example, in this case of VLC, I before I installed all the packages using the yum package manager, like all the dependencies, but then you actually need to go and copy all those files, like USR local, for example. Uh, let's actually open this traditional way drives. Uh, let's say C. How about we open I uh, user local bin and here's the VLC. So basically you need to copy it all manually. Thankfully you can just like basically select it all and just copy to the folders. It's quite easy. So this is how we basically use it. This is kind of environment we're working in. Unfortunately for OS2 and ArcOS, many many applications need to be installed this way. So I mean this is not ideal but what can we do? We're just dealing with, with whatever we have. And of course guys there's also Arcanoi package manager which is basically a default package manager that's also shipped with the system. System. and you can use this one to install the apps and this one is actually using the UI to install the applications right so basically this one is graphical you don't need to use the command line at all using this one basically it loaded all the packages and I can see all those packages right here and I can use this button to search through those for example wget and yeah this is like a way of using the UI to actually search and install the packages you don't need to use the command line all the time you can just use this and for example you can reinstall it you can uninstall it you can get specific release 
release you can get some information about it all right so let's see what kind of information you can get from this one and it basically gives you some information about the version and all that so you can either use uh, this graphical way of installing packages you can use yum you can just manually copy files so there are many many methods thank you guys for watching this video i hope it was useful interesting and see you soon yeah there'll be more videos i'm actually exploring the rcos myself there are still stuff i need to learn i mean there are many things that are confusing here not working right and i'm planning to install it on an actual laptop and see how it works because right now it's a virtual machine it's not ideal but let's see how it works in the future all right thanks guys